Okay, welcome back to Grow New Plants. Today I'm going to do the update on the native pecan trees that I planted. I planted these things on March 27th and the first ones started coming up. I didn't mark the exact date, but I know it was a little over three weeks ago. So it took probably about five weeks for these to come up and they're about eight weeks old now. So all this growth is all happened in the little low, probably three to maybe to four weeks. I don't know exactly, but they've done really well. So first I want to look at what I got germination rate. So I've got, uh, I've got 18 times three on these. So I got 54 of these things planted and we'll go through and look at them one flat at a time. So this one here, I have a, I don't know whether you can see that or not. There's a little stub right there. There's one trying to come up there. So we're going to call that germinated. Uh, some of them, they just didn't all come up at the same rates. And then I got, I got one over here that has not germinated yet. It's still May, but it has not at all yet. So I got one out of that flat that did not germinate. And then out of this flat, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A little one there. It's still just a little one, but it did come up. That one's just barely come up, but it's putting leaves out. It'll be fine. And this one's just starting to come up. So 100% germination on that tray. And here we got, that one's coming up. It hadn't done much yet, but it is up. That one's up, it's kind of small. Those are up, those three, those three. So 100% on this tray. So out of 54 pecans that I planted, I've got 53 germinated and these things did really good. And I, I attribute, I got some sporadic germination rates with some of my oaks and stuff. And I think that the biggest thing that I did different with the pecans is I did not keep the pecans as moist uh, when I stored them over the winter. I put very little moisture in there to the point to where when you just looked at them, they were dry on the outside. There was no moisture on the outside of the nuts themselves where some of the oaks, they were, they were pretty much wet the entire winter. And I'm attributing that so far. It's, it's gonna be an experiment all the way around, but I'm thinking that the fact that I kept my oaks or my pecans a little drier in the winter, I kept a little bit of moisture in there, but not enough where the nuts stayed wet and kept those stratified or kept them in the refrigerator all winter. And man, they they really germinated good, so I'm tickled to death with them. Now, as you can see here, my, what I call my guard dog, Prince. Prince, what are you doing? Is not doing his job because apparently I have a squirrel that has gotten in here. And you can see right here, there's a nut still on this one. Something came and pulled the nut off of this one. Uh, they got the nut off of that one. That other one's okay. There's one there they dug the nut off of. Squirrel took the nut off that one there, but it's still looking good. Got half the nut off that one, but it looks okay. As long as they get growing good enough roots and they don't separate the stem of the tree from the, the roots, at some point, the nut's really not important. Nut missing there, nut missing there, nut missing there, nut missing there. But all those trees look like they're gonna survive. They didn't really damage the trees too much. And I don't have a tape measure here, but I'm guessing that's probably six to eight inches on these biggest ones. And this is, again, maybe, maybe four to five weeks since they've, or no, probably three to four weeks since they've germinated and started coming up and they're like you said you can look at them and they're in various stages of development but they're all looking really good and i have not tried yet and just for the video i think i'm gonna try it it works better with the soil being drier i don't know whether i can get any of these up you can't really flip this thing over without flipping the whole thing so i am going to try and to see if I can get one of these things out of the ground. If I let them dry a little bit better, they probably would. No, I'm afraid I'm gonna destroy the roots too much. I wanted to pull them out just to show you uh, what the, maybe the roots right look like. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna leave here for just a second. I'm gonna go get a root off of something else uh, and I'll show you that to give you an idea what the roots of these could already be doing. Okay, so these are roots off of a bur oak that the squirrel got. He just completely pulled the roots up, pulled the tree, broke the tree off. But you can see, those don't look huge and they're kind of dried out so you can't see them as well now, but you see it's got a couple, it's got a tap root and then it hit that bottom of that pot, that root container pot, and it pruned it off instead of the root just keep growing around and around. It stopped it and then it started putting out all these little fine roots. These looks a lot better yesterday when they got pulled up. I should have taken a picture. Matter of fact, I think I have a picture on my phone, so I'll insert a picture of what these looked like yesterday, the day they were pulled up. But you can just see, I mean, I know it's not huge and it's not enough to fill this pot out yet, but probably I'm guessing in another two to three weeks, these root systems will fill these pots out. And uh, I'm guessing maybe another month to two months, definitely sometime during the summer, I'll probably transplant these up into one gallon pots. And you know, I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping by then, you know, I'll get maybe a foot of growth out of these things or a foot total of growth out of all of them. And then I'll transplant them up into one gallons and maybe hopefully have two foot tall trees by the end of the summer, but that may be optimistic. So anyway, I just want to give you a quick update. Uh, super happy. These have germinated great, as long as I can keep the squirrels out. I'm trying some different methods on keeping the squirrels out of them. Uh, I may do a video on that later if I find out if it worked or not. If you got any suggestions on squirrel proofing uh, nut trees, I know other than just covering them up, which is a big pain. But anyway, so I'm gonna try some different stuff. Hopefully I can keep the squirrel from destroying all my trees. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit the little bell notification, that way you get notified of updates. And then we'll talk to you later. Thank you, bye.